A 12 year old boy made a post on Snapchat and now he's facing a felony charge because of it. Welcome back. I'm Jesse Pagan. I'm Marcella Lee. The boy's parents say it's just a huge misunderstanding. Tonight in a CBS 8 exclusive, we show you what he wrote, why punctuation matters, and we explain why his parents questioned the timing of the criminal charges, which were just filed more than a year after the incident. We do want to warn you, the story contains explicit language. I was screaming and asking why were they, why were they there? What, why are they arresting my son? She's concealing her identity to protect her son from more scrutiny and trauma, but this mom wants their story told. My son was arrested at 12 years old, put into handcuffs by two officers and pulled out of my home. He will live with that for the rest of his life. He's, t he's, he's four foot eight, you know, 80 pounds. She says San Diego police walked into her apartment in Carmel Valley without a search warrant or an explanation as they looked for weapons. One officer was searching his room, lifting up his bed, you know, grabbing things out of his closet, looking through everything. She says they found nothing and she felt helpless and scared. Eventually, at some point, the one officer had said that he had made a death threat to his principal. She says they whisked away her 12-year-old son to Juvenile Hall, but that very same night, police released him back into her care. Juvenile Hall did not book him based off of lack of evidence of an actual death threat. She says it was November 2021. Her son was a seventh grader at Carmel Valley Middle School, and earlier that day, he was told to go to the office to see the principal. So he went and waited for her. She, he sat there for, you know, over two and a half hours, and she never came to the to the office. And the school bell rang for dismissal? School bell rang for dismissal, and I'd say he was there for probably 20 minutes after that before he actually got up and left. She says he was off campus after school when he posted a Snapchat these words without any punctuation, which is how I'll read it. Just dipped out of school, ran out that bitch in the office, dead Tom. Tom, short for tomorrow. The principal read his words as a threat on her life. The police report says he threatened crime with intent to terrorize at a school. The victim was a teacher. He was shocked. He couldn't believe that they interpreted it that way. So she asked him what he did mean. He said, Mom, I would never threaten a principal. I would never say that I'm going to kill anybody. I, I knew I was in trouble for leaving the school, for leaving the office. Um, I was saying that I'm going to be dead tomorrow. Diana, a judge, is one of the family's attorneys. Just ran out of that bitch. Ran out that bitch, the bitch being the administration building. He by no mean is means is referring to an individual person as... He's not referring to someone as a bitch. A judge says the boy was suspended from Carmel Valley Middle School, and then the principal called for his expulsion. Weeks later, the San Diego Union High School District Board sided with the family, allowing the 12-year-old to return to school. By that time, it was too late. We had already found a different school for him. There was no way that I would put him back under that principal's care or supervision. She says at the school board hearing, they also learned the school did not follow the San Diego County threat protocol established by the County Office of Education. It was the principal's interpretation of the post, then the police, police arrest. There was no, let's call the parents, let's get, let's get the kid in, let's, let's talk about what this actually meant. The family recently filed a civil lawsuit against the principal, the district, the city, and the police department, claiming civil rights and free speech violations, unreasonable search and seizure, and false imprisonment, among other things. They say two weeks after they filed their civil suit, and more than a year after the arrest, the San Diego County District Attorney's Office filed a felony charge against the boy. We definitely think it's retaliation. Do you believe he was wrongfully arrested? Yes. What happened was unjust. It was unconstitutional. We don't want it happening to other people. We don't. We want. We want our son to also know that we're we're fighting for his justice. The San Diego District Attorney's Office told us juvenile cases are sealed so youth can grow without a criminal record with the goal of rehabilitation. But in general, they say, quote, 
We take school threats and threats to school staff very seriously, and we follow the established San Diego County School Threat Assessment Protocol. Generally speaking, there can be a lag time from when a school threat incident happened to when it is submitted to our office for review. The San Diego Union High School District told us they can't comment on the case either, but said, quote, Carmel Valley Middle School provides a student agenda with behavioral expectations to all students, adding that every student, teacher, and staff member has a right to feel safe when they come to school or their place of work. You can read both statements in their entirety in our digital story. Now, Marcelo, do we know why the boy was called to the principal's office in the first place? That's a good question. The family says that he didn't know at the time, but later they learned it was something that happened between him and some friends at a shopping center the night before with mm. a boy that didn't even go to that school. So, you know, the family, the mom says, I don't condone the language mm -hmm. he used. He didn't make perhaps the right judgment to post that. It was only up for nine minutes. Then he took it down. And she's just wondering, though, about a felony charge. Mm. So, uh, you know, we'll see what happens in the case. Yeah, well, we've got a lawsuit now. We've also got the charges. So definitely more to come uh, in this situation and see what happens. And we went very in-depth in the story on our website. So if you visit CBS8.com and find the story, we talked to a school safety expert mm -hmm. who talks about different schools actually implementing threat assessment teams now so they can follow certain protocol to determine if a threat is really a threat. Because in this day and age, you can't be too careful. You have to investigate threats. But mm -hmm. the big question here, which will learn perhaps from the family is does his punishment does the felony charge fit what happened yeah, so. we'll see what happens here